I'm Kevin Cameron, and my subject for the moment <clears throat> is engine cooling. Now, the reason that an engine needs cooling is that this is an internal combustion engine. If you have combustion internal to some machine, there's going to be heat lost from that combustion into the metal parts of the machine. If that heat accumulates in certain of those critical parts beyond a desired level, those parts will fail. Therefore, we have to continually take heat out of those parts as fast as combustion is putting it in, or as fast as friction is putting it in, in order to control the temperature of the parts and enable them to survive their duty. This is a water-cooled engine. Earlier engines were all air-cooled. They put cooling fins on the cylinders and on the cylinder heads. And as the motorcycle moved through the air, air drifted between the fins, was heated there, and carried away the heat that would otherwise have accumulated in the cylinder and the head, leading to abnormal combustion and failure. But air-cooled engines run hot in the summer and cold in the winter. If we cool an engine with pumped circulated water or other liquid coolant, such as a 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and water. And if we put a thermostatic valve in the system, we can choose the temperature at which the engine will operate. The typical operating temperature for liquid cooled engines is 195 degrees or so Fahrenheit. Now, this is the lower case of the CBR600RR engine. It would normally sit in the engine like this. But our point of interest right now is this mounting point right here and this opening. The oil pump sits here, its shaft sticks out in this direction. Right here mounts a water pump. The water pump delivers water that has been cooled by passing through the air to water heat exchanger, which we call the radiator, and it is then sent into the cylinder block. These spaces, these are the cylinders, these spaces are normally filled with water which is rapidly circulating. It flows either way from the water pipe around this, and then it flows upward and leaves this space to enter the really hot part, which is the cylinder head. These are the four combustion chambers. All these openings are for circulating coolant. Water circulates over the top of each of the four combustion chambers and then this is completes the circuit. Water goes back to the radiator to be cooled. The thermostatic valve sees to it that a liquid cooled engine does not run hot in summer and cold in winter by opening and closing automatically. If the water gets too hot, the thermostat opens more, allowing more water to circulate through the radiator. This cools the water back down to the set point. If it's winter time and we're foolishly going out to ride our motorcycles in ice and snow, great fun, I've done it. Um, the valve doesn't let any coolant go to the radiator to be cooled until the engine itself has reached operating temperature. So the nice thing about water cooling is that the conditions for the lubricant and for the moving parts are thermostatic. They stay at the same temperature. That's the purpose of the cooling system.